For the first time, an electric vehicle is Australia's favourite car. The Tesla Model Y has topped all others when it comes to private buyers. Finance editor Chris Kohler explains. As the Model Y secures its position as the best-selling car, both in Australia and worldwide, Tesla is actively refining and enhancing this car line. Furthermore, Tesla has already revealed significant updates for other existing car models and shared insights into upcoming projects. So, what exactly are these changes? How do they impact the current vehicle lineup? And what exciting new car lines can we anticipate in the coming year? Welcome to Adam Tech Channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in and I hope you have an amazing day. Now let's move on to the main topic at hand. 1. What modifications have been made to the current Tesla product line? For those considering the purchase of Tesla's Model S, Model X and Model Y, it's essential to be aware of recent updates to their EPA range. Tesla has made adjustments due to changes in the EPA process. Specifically, in the Model S lineup, the long-range variant maintains its impressive 405-mile range while the Model S Plaid experiences a reduction from 396 miles to 359 miles. Notably, Tesla has also fine-tuned range estimates for different wheel configurations, such as the Model S Plaid with 21 wheels, now offering a range of 320 miles, down from 348. Similarly, the Model X has undergone adjustments in its EPA-rated range. The Model X Long Range now provides a 335-mile range compared to the previous 348 miles. The Plaid variant of the Model X has seen a reduction to 326 miles from the previous 333 miles. Noteworthy adjustments are observed in the Model Y lineup. The Model Y Long Range has seen a decrease to 310 miles from the previous 330 miles, while the Performance model now boasts a range of 285 miles, down from 303 miles. In contrast, the rear-wheel drive variant maintains a consistent range of 260 miles. Importantly, these alterations are specific to the EPA testing cycle in the US and potentially Canada, with no impact on the range estimates in other countries. Given that it's often hard to match Tesla's previous EPA estimates, these changes should result in more realistic, real-world numbers, giving owners a better expectation of the range of their new vehicles. Tesla has also introduced two captivating colour palettes for the Model Y and Model 3, introducing two eye-catching options, Stealth Grey and Ultra Red. Stealth Grey, originally seen on the Model S and Model X in October 2023, is now offered at no additional cost. On the other hand, Ultra Red, comparable to Flame Red in China, was introduced in March last year and is now available for an extra $2,000. In addition to these new paint choices, Tesla has unveiled a new Satin Abyss Blue Wrap for the Model Y and Model 3 in the US, priced at $6,000. Concurrently, the company has reduced prices for other wraps by up to 24%. The diverse range of wrap options now includes Satin Stealth Black $5,700, Glacier Blue $6,000, Satin Rose Gold $6,000, Slip Grey $5,700, Forest Green $6,000, Satin Ceramic White $5,700 and Crimson Red $6,000. However, enthusiasts awaiting Midnight Silver and Midnight Cherry Red, it looks like you're out of luck. These colours are currently exclusive to Giga Berlin and haven't made its way across the ocean yet. Next is the information related to Model 3. I can say that is really, really bad news for those who want to purchase Model 3. Numerous popular EVs, like the Nissan LEAF and specific Tesla Model 3 versions, will no longer be eligible for clean vehicle tax credits, as indicated by the US Department of Energy and the US Department of Treasury's Internal Revenue Service. In 2024, the total number of electric vehicles qualifying for up to $7,500 in credits under the Inflation Reduction Act is expected to decrease from 35 to 14. Other vehicles, including several EVs sold by General Motors and the Tesla Cybertruck, may eventually qualify for federal clean vehicle tax credits in 2024, according to the automakers. 2. Which Tesla car models are expected to be released in 2025? 
Now let's delve into the latest updates regarding the refreshed Model Y, referred to as Juniper. A report from Bloomberg suggests that the revamped Model Y is set to enter mass production as early as mid-2024. This contrasts with earlier projections by Reuters, which had predicted the start of production for this model in October 2024. According to an insider, the initial batch of the latest Model Y vehicles will be made from the second phase of Tesla's Shanghai facility, which will suspend production for around a week during the Chinese Lunar New Year holiday for a partial upgrade. Further adjustments are anticipated before entering mass production. Next, let's transition to details concerning the development process of the Model 2. Tesla's ambitious plans for the Model 2 continue to evolve, reshaping expectations about its production timeline and location. Contrary to previous assumptions, Elon Musk has clarified that Gigafactory Mexico will not be the initial site for Model 2 production, as the facility will only commence operations after the official launch of the vehicles. This strategic adjustment emphasizes the importance of Tesla's other global facilities in the Model 2 rollout. Musk has expressed strong optimism about the Model 2, highlighting it as a significant leap forward in automotive manufacturing and stressing that it will surpass the capabilities of any current automaker. He believes the Model 2 will incorporate a revolutionary production process never seen before in the industry. Musk is personally involved in reviewing and refining the production line plans to ensure this vehicle sets a new benchmark for efficiency and innovation. To support these ambitious goals, Tesla is actively expanding its operations across multiple regions. The company aims to drive Model 2 production to over 5 million units, exceeding initial forecasts by 1 million units and reflecting confidence in its global strategy. In Germany, Tesla plans to begin expanding its Brandenburg factory in the first half of 2024. This expansion will double the size of Phase 1, potentially allowing the Berlin facility to produce between 1.5 and 2 million units of the Model 2. A company spokesperson disclosed that Musk visited the site last November, confirming that the Model 2 would be produced there, aligning with Tesla's goal to serve the European market. Meanwhile, in China, Tesla is advancing with Phase 3 of the Giga Shanghai plant, focusing on the production of the upcoming $25,000 vehicle. The Shanghai plant, currently manufacturing the Model 3 and Model Y, with an annual output of 1.1 million units, aims to increase its production to 2 million electric vehicles per year. Reports from early last year noted that the Shanghai plant is Tesla's most efficient production site, capable of assembling each vehicle in just 37 seconds, compared to 76 seconds at the Texas plant. Despite these ambitious plans, Tesla faces uncertainties regarding resource allocation for the Model 2. The company is also focusing on the development of other models, such as the Model Y Juniper in China by mid-2024, the Model 3 Highland in Fremont at the beginning of 2024, and managing the demand for 2.3 million electric trucks at the Giga Texas plant. These projects raise questions about whether Tesla can dedicate sufficient resources to expedite the Model 2's development, and as a result, the first Model 2 might not debut on the production line until mid-2026. To meet its production goals, Tesla is not only expanding its manufacturing facilities, but also focusing on enhancing production technology. Gigacasting, a method that involves using large machinery to cast substantial sections of the vehicle body into a single piece, will likely play a crucial role. This technique simplifies the assembly process, reduces costs, and increases production speed. Gigacasting is expected to be used for both the Model 2 and the Cybertruck, further boosting Tesla's production capabilities. Elon Musk's bold prediction of achieving an annual production of over 5 million units for the $25,000 electric vehicle, including a specialized robo-taxi model, hinges on these global expansions and technological advancements. The approval of production expansion at Giga Mexico by the Mexican Federal Environmental Agency further supports this vision, paving the way for Tesla to scale up its manufacturing capacity. Tesla's global strategy, combining expansion in key regions with innovative manufacturing techniques, underscores the company's commitment to revolutionizing the automotive industry.
While challenges remain, Tesla's proactive approach to growth and innovation positions it to achieve its ambitious production goals, setting the stage for the Model 2 to become a game-changer in the electric vehicle market. Last but not least, in a recent compilation by Alex Avoit on X, a list of past Tesla products and services that many believed Elon Musk would never deliver was shared. Elon later reposted the list, adding, a few other products coming too, without providing further details. Presently, Tesla's anticipated projects include a compact car, possibly referring to the Model 2, RoboTaxi, RoboVan, Roadster 2.0, Humanoid Robot Optimus, and full self-driving. Jeremy Johnson, a journalist at Talk News, shared insights on Tesla's upcoming endeavors. He envisions the Tesla compact car featuring two Falcon Wing doors, revealing both front and back seats. Johnson emphasizes the gradual rollout of full self-driving, FSD, version 12 to Tesla employees and anticipates its availability to customers soon. Additionally, he discusses the potential robo-taxi vehicle, characterized by a minimalist design with two seats, no steering wheel, and no pedals. The anticipation surrounding the mass production of the Model Y Juniper and the budget-friendly Model 2 is building, with 2025 set to be a landmark year for Tesla. These new models promise to make electric vehicles more accessible, aligning with Tesla's long-term vision of sustainable transportation. With Gigafactories expanding across the globe, advanced production techniques like Giga Casting and Tesla's strategic global growth, the company is well positioned to meet its ambitious production targets. Before we wrap up, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you excited about the refreshed Model Y Juniper or the upcoming affordable Model 2? Do you think Tesla's global expansion and innovative manufacturing techniques will help it meet the rising demand for electric vehicles? What are your thoughts on Tesla's new color options and wraps? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in to Adam Tech. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more updates on Tesla and other cutting-edge technology news. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.